Get this figure and more at Lunar Toy Store. <coughs> hey, my name is Jobby, and happy holidays! Happy holidays! The figure itself has nothing to do with Christmas, besides the fact that when I get it underneath a mistletoe, Shockwave is a Decepticon from the original 1980s Transformers show, which I did not grow up with. Now the figure comes packaged in his alternate mode, but I'm gonna cover the robot mode first, because why the fuck not? It's Christmas! The painting and the sculpting on this figure is awesome. Shockwave has such an awesome and distinct design. It's a design so cool that even Michael Bay couldn't fuck it up, but boy did he try. These big, simple shapes make him look deliciously 80s and I love this head sculpt. It's amazingly simple yet it packs so much character. And even though the light piping is beautiful, there's a little part of me that wishes his eye was a light up feature. That little part of me is also a spoiled little bitch, but that's completely made up for with his cannon arm. Not only does it look very cool, but you also got this little switch on the side. That beautiful purple light pulses 8 times before it shuts off. But to really get the full impact of the light up feature, Merry fucking Christmas. And the batteries are thankfully easy to access. These are just a couple LR44 batteries. You also get a transparent right hand, which brings it more in line with the original toy. And to bring it more in line with the original toy, now the arm cable is facing upward. I don't really give a shit, honestly. I really like how this cable is an actual metal spring. And that's not the only thing on this guy that's metal. Using my cold touch technique, I've determined that the feet are die-cast metal and this whole structure that holds the backpack. I'm telling you, the cold touch technique works the best when you use your dirty mouth. <laughs> only real problems I have with the figure is, yes, this giant ass backpack. But thankfully, it is removable. But then you got nowhere else to put this, so might as well keep it on his back. And another thing is, I'm not a big fan of the purple they used. Compared to some other third-party shockwaves, I wish this guy were a bit more darker. And the final problem? If you've watched any of my Gundam reviews, you know how I feel about stickers. But to the figure's credit, these are not the worst stickers. In fact, they actually look pretty good. He also comes with a few accessories. I already mentioned the transparent hands, but he also comes with a left normal hand. Out of the box, the cable comes detached, so I guess you could consider that an accessory. He also comes with a saluting hand and a transparent saluting hand. You also get a nice looking card, which says Shockwave's name is Laser Wave, but the Japanese don't even speak English. How can you trust them? I'm just kidding. I was only being half serious. And my favorite accessory, you have a tiny Shockwave. Tiny Shockwave way plugs into his hand really easily. So I did mention transformation. No, 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 no. Swoopal here. Ball joint at the head, looks down this far and looks up really far. You can extend the neck which allows him to look more down. Ratchet at the shoulder, arm ratchets out, moves even further up, bicep swivel, bend at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, fingers are on one hinge, but unfortunately no pointing finger. Saluting has the same but no finger articulation. No waist swivel, but before I end it all, you can extend the waist and nah, ah, he's even got a crunch, never mind. And he can bend backwards. Front skirt moves up and side skirt moves up. Rotation at the legs, leg moves back that far. Beautiful spread. Thigh swivel, that's a little loose for my taste. Bend at the knee, up and down at the ankle, and the pivot. Posability is not fantastic, but it's perfectly serviceable. His size, however, is a little more than serviceable. Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Mole, Masterpiece Bumblebee, X Transbots Apollyon, totally not Megatron, and Figma Godzilla. Now that I've got my rocks off, we can finally get to the transformation. You know what I'm saying?
you have the laser gun mode. And even though the laser gun is clearly just shockwave in a funny pose, it still looks awesome. Some new details are revealed, and you even get a targeting sight. Really awesome detail, but it doesn't work for shit. What does actually work is the trigger. Pulling on the trigger activates a powerful LED. Each trigger pull makes it blink, but you can't spam it sadly. But that's not all there is to the light up feature. If you flip this switch, you activate a pulsing mode. Warm. 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 That pulses about 10 times before it fades away. You can stop the posing at any time by flipping the switch. And the batteries for this light-up feature are also easy to access. These are just AAA batteries. This thing is just really fun to wave around. That is until the waist attaches and it gets floppy. But you do get an unintentional sort of So as for Bose ability. <laughs> Let's move on. Not only is this guy pretty tall, it's very long. Primal Prime, Bumblebee. Madoka, Godzilla, and fuck you, I'm never transforming this again. Overall, this figure is awesome. <laughs> Some of you might bring up the third-party shockwaves as being better than this figure, but as someone who doesn't have those figures, this figure is definitely not terrible. I really do like this figure, but I don't know if it justifies that price point. Even if you buy it from the Lunar Toy Store! They've got a great selection of Transformers for pretty good prices, but for you international buyers, meaning non-American, the shipping might make you cry. But you know, check them out, buy some things. If they fail, I'm going down with them. So before I leave you alone with your toys and creepy lolly porn, I'm giving you a heads up that I'm not gonna be here for next Saturday or the week after that. We'll call it a holiday hiatus. But when I come back...